How will Earl Spence Jr. look in his return to the boxing ring when he faces Sebastian Fondor after getting a beating in the manner and fashion that he took versus Bud Crawford? Will Earl Spence rebound from that loss and show why he is the truth? Now, Earl Spence took a hell of a beating against Bud. He's been inactive for well over a year. He has not gotten a tune-up fight, and he's going right into the lion's den. I respect the hell out of Earl Spence. Now, will he be the same Earl Spence, the same walk-you-down monster, the same brother that was good at chopping trees? Well, he got a hell of a tree to chop in Fondora. Now, Fondora is six foot five, 154 pounds. This brother is an animal. He throw them long-ass uppercuts that'll have the back of your head hitting your back. He is a monster animal, but I've seen him get dropped many a times. I still feel like Tim Zhu would have won that fight against Fondor had he not got cut. But that's a whole nother conversation. Earl Spence Jr., after coming off that beating from Bud, he got a year's rest, well over a year, to rest his mind and body. I feel like Earl Spence will get the victory, in my opinion. But it's a lot of people that feel like since he's not getting a tune-up fight and he's going into this line then with Sebastian Fondor, that this could potentially be a big mistake and a hindrance on his body boxing career. I don't know about y'all but I would hope he get in a ring with somebody and make him feel confident again. Get those grooves back but he said fuck it. I'm stepping in front of Fondor and we gonna get it on. Who you guys got winning this fight when it happened? Let me know in the comments what you think.